Tutorial 1 Introduction to Java Hi everyone this is Cyrus formerly known as Nyakama Mall. This is the first tutorial of intro to Java for beginners. In this video, I will answer the following. What is Java programming language? Who created Java programming language? Why and when Java programming language was created? How to create Hello World program using Java programming language? Let's start good luck! Asterisk Java is a high-level object-oriented programming language. It was created by James Gosling at Microsystems in 1991. Asterisk Java was named Oak at first after a tree that was outside James' window. Asterisk Java was originally created for writing code on embedded systems, but later they realized it can be used for web applications. Asterisk the reason we learn Java today is that it is still the most popular and powerful programming language across the world. Asterisk Java is able to perform the following. 1. Desktop applications. 2. Web applications. 3. Business apps. 4. Embedded systems. 5. Cloud systems. 6. Gaming apps. 7. Android apps. 8. Go research for more that are plenty of functions of Java programming language. Asterisk top mobile and web applications of Java that you probably use, 1. Spotify, music streaming app, 2. Twitter, social media app, 3. Netflix, movie streaming app, 4. Opera Mini, web browser. Asterisk things we need to know before we write hello world program in Java, 1. The file name of your program must be the same as class name. 2. Dot functions are called methods, variables are called fields. 3. Dot the name of a class must always start with capital letter. And the name of a method and file must start with a small letter. Asterisk a class that has main method is called a Java application, main method Bayesians the execution of every Java application. Asterisk in order to be able to write Java programs, you need to download IDE. Eclipse or NetBeans or other, you can also use Notepad for writing small Java programs asterisk in order to run Java program you need JDK, JRE, and JVM. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine, which is the component which enables programs to execute in all types of machines. This means that the JVM takes the dot .class files, known as bytecode, and converts them to machine code and CPU can execute them. JRE is an acronym for Java Runtime Environment. It contains the JVM and Java packages with Classes which come ready for use for Java developers like java.utility asterisk, javax.swing asterisk, java.lang asterisk, etc. Plus other supporting files. So JRE equals JVM plus Java packages plus other supporting files. JDK stands for Java Development Kit, which is a folder containing all. The necessary software which makes the programmers compile Java programs, obtaining the dot .class, the bytecode, generate the documentation, debug Java programs, run Java programs. These programs are also called Java utilities. For example, Javac is a utility used for compiling Java programs, converts the program into bytecode or machine code. Java is a utility used to execute the programs. 
Javap is a utility used to reveal the API or Java documentation of classes. J Javadoc is a utility for generating Java documentation. Javid is a Java debugger which allows the programmer to debug an application. Hello? World Pro Program in Java public class Hello World. Forward slash forward slash start of the class static void my Hello World. Forward slash forward slash start of method system dot out dot print on Hello World slash slash system is predefined class and print on is predefined function for forward slash forward slash printing output on screen forward slash forward slash end of the method public static void main string args forward slash forward slash executions begins here main method my hello world slash slash calling method forward slash forward slash end main method forward slash forward slash end of the class slash asterisk multi-line comments asterisk forward slash forward slash forward slash single line comment thank you subscribe like and comment tutorial two data types and variables what is a variable Variable refers to the amount of space in memory where we can store a value. A variable is identified by an identifier, variable name. Example, int age equals 23. Int is a data type, age is an identifier, 23 is a value int age. This is the variable. R rules for naming variables. One dot variable name must begin with the letter not number example int number 1, int 1 number, 2, variable must not have space between example, int id underscore number, or int id number, int id number, 3, reserved keywords in Java cannot be used to create variables. Examples of reserved keywords, class, main, string, null, etc. Groups of data types. Whole numbers. Data type size value boolean 1 bit true slash false byte 1 byte minus 128 to 127 short 2 bytes int 4 bytes long 8 bytes. Decimal numbers. Data type size value float 4 bytes 6 to 7 digits after comma double 8 bytes 15 digits after comma. Character slash letter slash ASCII. Data type size value chart 2 bytes character slash letter slash ASCII string varies sequence of characters. Primitive types primitive data type describes the type and size of a variable values. There are 8 primitive types, they store data and can only hold one value, less memory and fast compared to reference types. Primitive types, byte, short, int, long, float, char, double, and boolean. Reference types Reference types refer to objects, stores address, can hold more than one value, have more memory and are slower compared to primitive types. Reference types, classes, arrays, interfaces, etc. Let's go to the good part programming. Public class app. Public static void main, string, args. String first name equals mall. Int student number equals 21929 Float balance equals 34.8883F. Boolean is employed equals false. Char rank equals a. System.out.println, name, plus first name, system.out.println, student number, plus student number, system.out.println, balance, plus balance, system.out.println, employed, plus is employed, system.out.println, rank, plus rank.
all right thank you guys subscribe if you like the comments so that it can motivate me to make more videos like this uh call of the day uh without programming life would be boring that is made by cyrus okay guys uh let me just go back to the program one more time oh uh, so this is the program that i've created that to demonstrate on the topic of of how to create variables how to how to print out data on the screen uh, and how to create a program how to create a class uh yeah so let's start uh here so this is public class app so this is my app so Whenever you write a program in Java, it is written inside a class. So my, the name of my class is app. And also remember what I said earlier on. Uh, the name of a class must be the same name as the file name of your program. So if I say public class app, uh, let me just go to the program. I have written this program outside. So let's go there so that you can see it clearly. So my tutorials. Oh my god, sorry for that. I clicked to the wrong folder. Uh, uh, my tutorial. So this is app. That is uh, the program that I've written there. But here, as you can see this app this is the name of the class as well as the name of the file the name of the class must be the same as the name of the file and also the class name must always start with the capital letter and that is the convention even if even if you write a class uh, if your class starts with this letter it's gonna run but then according to java conventions which are the rules that we have to follow as programmers so that other program other other programmers can understand our code. We have to obey those rules. Those rules includes uh, the one that I've just raised, which is uh, the name of the class must always start with the capital letter. And also the name of a variable must always start with a small letter, as, as well as uh, the name of a method which is a function so this is my code paper as you can see uh, this is a string so string r uh, variable is like a container remember is a uh, is like a container uh, that that is going to contain some value so first name uh, with the data type of a string is going to contain this value which is margin which is much and also this is the data type which is integer and also this is the container that will contain this value as well as the float which is data type balance it's the identifier and it contains this value uh, and so on which is this one is the boolean and also this one is employed uh, this is the value which is a false if I was employed I was going to write true here but then I'm not employed, so I wrote false. So character, so this is the value. So a variable in general is just a container for the values. So uh, on this statement, I'm just printing out, I'm just printing out my details on the screen. Uh, I'm going to use uh, a command prompt to run my program so that you can see how how does it show on the screen so this is the balance let me just put it in range let me just put it in range yeah let me just put it in range yeah okay, yeah, yeah yeah let me just go and run this one on command prompt let me just go and search for command prompt here
Uh, let me just go and look for the um, CMD. It's called CMD. Just search for CMD and then it will pop up. And then command prompt. Here's the app that I'm going to use to run. You don't have to download this one. It's a built-in application that comes with your laptop. When you buy a laptop and the shop, it, it has already has command prompt. So you don't need to stress. So now I'm just going to change it directly. So a directly is like a folder. So when I'm saying CD, I'm saying change directly. So I'm going to my directly that is uh, my tutorials, uh, the programs, the program that I'm going to run. So I'm just saying CD. So uh, I've changed uh, my directly from Cyrus to videos. So I'm going to change directly again from videos to my tutorials. And it, it is case uh, sensitive. We have to write spelling as it is just because it's not going to recognize the folder that you are going that you are changing to my tutorials. You see. Then when I say directly, I'm, I just want to see what is inside this folder or what is inside this directory. So as you can see, this is app.java. So that is the program that I've written. So I want to compile the program or I want to convert that uh, program into a bytecode. So app.class, this is what we call a bytecode or what we call a matching code. So let me just uh, convert uh, this app.java into this app.class. So I'm going to use this command java c. So uh, earlier on I've explained java c that it converts uh, the program into a bytecode. So I'm, I'm just going to say java c and app.java. So uh, compiling, compiling is not, uh, some people are confused compiling the program. When you compile the program, you don't want to check for errors. You are simply converting the program into a bytecode or into a machine language so that the computer can understand it and then it can be able to run it. So you want, the, C, the CPU is the one that is going to run the program but then it's not going to be able to run it if it's uh it's written into high level language or uh, uh, using those english uh public it has to convert it into a machine code or into a pipe code you see now i'm going to run my program you see it, it has been converted into a pipe code now so now i'm going to run it java you use Java when you want to run a program. And then you press enter. And then voila. Balance. There it is. Name, share, uh, student number, two, and then blah, blah, blah. Balance. There is our balance. Employed. False. Rank. That is our rank. So thank you guys. I mean, yeah, I hope you understood data types and how to create variables. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you.